Here's a six iron from them. That's, uh, oh, oh my yeah, goodness! Like that. Pops it in the jar. Yeah, I called it all day long. I called it all day long. Fuck you, Rod. All right, he's putting this one for birdie. And that one will drop. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. Looking pretty good. Good work out there today. That's your fourth birdie so far. He's got about a three footer here. And that'll drop. After that hole, eight under power. Crossroads right here. Crossroads. Crossroads. Oh, okay. we can't do that. We can't do that. Shit, what we got with the one? Oh, yeah, we can do it. Make it look like fun. Get your ass up the hill. Get your ass up the hill. Better than that. Okay, let's wow. smash this one out there. Why is every reset around already got your back? Thank you, because you know what? Look, I mean, me and Bruce, me and Bruce was in a room together. Chris Stokes put us in a room together and made us do stuff together. You feel me? Me and Jarrell, Houston. Wow. You're not going to sleep here in anything under the rug. I was molested by Chris Stokes and Mark Houston, and that's, just, that's the truth. Good job. Period. Okay, he appears to be ready to roll on this one. Let's see how this tee shot goes. Who is this, son? Who is this, son? No, we should have this shot. Oh, I don't even fuck with that. Hey, bro, why this chick just sent me a motherfucking uh, perfect crash, bro? Oh, this one's dropping fairway for sure. This girl named Maria Thompson. Alrighty, he's good to go on this one. Let's see how he does. She lives in Anderson. Works at Spectrum. No, no. No, no. I think she's trying to sell some pushing. She separated. Has your life been impacted? And from around 215 yards, let's see what he'll do. Ain't fuck with that thing. Only four mutual friends. I ain't fuck with it. This is crazy, bro. This motherfucking tank is in the way. Damn it, man. Stupid. 13 yard road. Stupid 13 yard road. Nope, they're gonna work. Damn it. I don't want to go right down this hill. I don't want to go too far. What am I gonna do? 
Looks like this one's heading for the green. Too far, too far. Come back, come back. Oh, no, you didn't do it. And from here, he's looking at around 185 yards to the pin. That's a good one too, dog. Love that jump right there. Here's our second shot on hole number 11. This is looking decent. Okay, we're on the green. And here's his second shot. And they're but. going with the pitching wedge. This one's heading for it. Ooh. Boy, that's a nice bounce. <clears throat> what I can do, man. Everybody on my screen right now, all four niggas. All right, and he's dealing with a greenside rough situation. I think we should put our whole country drops. just with the lottery, bro. Oh, God, shot, can you believe this uh, shit so far away, girl? Damn. What I got going on here? Let me check this out, bro. See what you got, bro. See what you got, bro. See what you got, bro. Oh, my goodness. Damn, you missed that motherfucker. Damn it, boy. Why not, bro? I'm not, bro. I'm not, bro. I'm not, bro. I'm not. Too hard. And that will drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What the fuck? And you have this putt to get down to nine under par. What the fuck? Okay, Rico. It's been this way for a long time, bro. Like, for me, the smoke is, really, is basically like always around five dollars a day of smoke and smoke good. And he's got a twelve-foot pot in front of him here. So five, three times five is one hundred fifty dollars a month, Rico. And that one will drop for birdie. Unless I get a good ass deal, make it cheap. All right, nine under is your score. I think 150 money ain't bad this month, though. Oh, oh, I'm gonna say, don't do that. Don't do that. What do you think, Hurt? Oh, about what? Uh, uh, 150 a month just smoke good. 150 a month? Yeah. Not bad. It's gonna be difficult for me right here. To stay out the, stay, stay out the rough. Stay out the rough. Stay out the rough. Still the fucking rough. Damn. Okay, let's rip this out into the fairway. Shit, man. Not what I wanted to do. This dry ass course, man. Nigga, I just sit man. Suffering a drop. I don't know what you're talking about, but. Oh my God. You know, I'm trying to be disgusted with yourself. Nah. 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 It ain't me, cuz. I couldn't do that if I wanted to. Damn. If you don't do it, Sean, I'm going to definitely do it. Yeah, we'll have that. He's about all that just to He's ready to tee off and see what he has. I seen it. I you hit it though. I I you hit it. I seen it. We're about to get two hours. <laughs> <laughs> they say about to hit two hours. <laughs> I got my on, That's a water tank. That's a water tank, sure. I think I could have made it. You did make it. What the fuck you talking about? You could have made it. No, I'm talking about over there. Oh, shit. No way. No way. Okay. Man, I don't give a fuck. Well, I was ain't bad for this guy, man. Man. For uh, so far, it ain't bad. We on the twelfth. Well, I was ain't bad for eighteen more people. Man, fuck these niggas. But you know, we 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 you know, sure I'm gonna take his time. You know that. Nah, baby, we above these bitches. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
tried it. He tried it. I'm not uh, I'm not, not positive. Could be rough. Could be fairway though. He went the waterway. He went the waterway. Oh boy, he got to save by the bush. Yeah, let's see by the bush. This hole goes down for him. This is what you got for him right here. You can dig this up, but then Roseanne, son. Hey, man, Google, how many songs do Lil Wayne have? God damn. Crazy she motherfucker. Hit about 500. But the crazy thing is, At least 200. I began, you know, back up, nigga, nigga. Back to 36, nigga. Big house, but long, you got to think, though, Rico. Oh, the more songs you put on the platform, and a nigga, if a nigga accidentally hit listen to your shit, you getting paid for it. You getting paid 24-7, bro. Motherfucker, 24-7. Uh, uh, what they call that shit? What the fuck is that? Let's get the money, dude. Fuck. Oh, oh, man. I got some stomach going Jack on around down. this motherfucker. Jack went for that shit, bro. Look at this shit. Straight to the... F well, where the fuck flag at, though? Here's our second hey, shot on the 12th. Ass hit my ass, go. Damn, Rico. This AK-47 hit you ever in front of the That's what I'm talking about, Rico. That's what I'm talking about, Rico. Rico. But I'm in the fucking rough. I might not can't make it. Might not can't make it. Damn it, boy. I'm about to up my club at least. Do a high ass roll. Yeah, we gonna butter, bro. Hey, my five dollar my, my five dollar smoke about to run out though, Rick. Come on, Rick. Come on, come on, boy. Stop talking. Come on, five. Oh, oh, oh. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. My shot, my shot. Okay. Second oh, shot for him on this one. Right I don't believe that. Where did you go? Yeah, this nigga went to the wrong angle then. I'm hitting off the clip. Hitting off the clip. It's just as that angle though. I was trying to, I was, I, I should have went for it. Oh, that nigga went to the wrong angle. Oh, that's what you're talking about. 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 Going with the nine iron on this one. This These are rated. Good. Ooh. Damn, boy. Close, though. Close. I did. Okay. Here we go with his second Damn, shot. I'm, I'm close to everybody. What the fuck going on? Oh, I see what's going on now. Now I see what's going on. So I hit the best angle there, huh, Reed? So you hit the best angle. Oh, yeah, I did. How you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about how you and Chuck. Because me and you were just right beside each other almost. No, we weren't. We weren't. I'm in the goddamn rough. I might not be able to make it across the bitch. That's what I'm worried about. Well, that's a good ass motherfucking shot, though, either way. Let me see. If, let me see. If, from the let me rock. see. If I can make this motherfucker. That's what I want to know. I want to see if I can make it. Though. That's my thing. One, two. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to make this. Right? I'm about to make this. Right? <coughs> what we got right here? Oh, we got this right here. Yeah, we got that. We got that. And then we got this. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, so we got right there, Rick. Shit, let me see. Here we go. Here we go, Rick. Oh, it didn't do it right. It didn't do it, Rick. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. This is his third. <laughs> nah, you ain't nowhere near all that concern. The fridge went away. Yeah, you, you gotta be hitting, you know what I mean? Certain president, you are, I forgot his angle might be better though, my bad. Let me see. You got less than that, man. Yeah, this is what I go 
And it drops. Money, money, money. All right, 10 under par if you sink this. Reason why you went, reason why Sean went before you because he wasn't on the brain. Let me put him on Twitter. Hey, Sean, what you doing? And from that distance, oh, nothing to be ashamed of there. Daniel. And he's putting this one for birdie. My CB in the nigga of my CA. But okay, he's got two feet to go here. Mr. P5 okay. is alive. A little bit, a no little bit. Don't but it ain't no over yet, though. It ain't right. over yet, though. Nigga, I might lose this shit, bro. Nigga, I don't even expect to win, bro. Ain't gonna lie. Nigga, I don't expect to win, bro. But the thing about it is, I got to take P5 serious now. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I don't think you have any money back. I hear you, hey, look, I hear you, cuz. Talk your shit. That's you what's gonna make you, that's what's... serious, guy. That's right, nigga. Hey, that's the truth, though. Nigga, you playing way better than you. You, you, you nigga, want a gun. Oh, my God. Becky, look at her, but don't you? That part, too. <laughs> So you gotta say so you gotta work for that. <laughs> nigga. Nigga. Oh, this is gonna be ugly right here though. This is definitely gonna be ugly right here. We already know we ain't gotta look out for you. Get the bottom. Like you were just for This ain't gonna be the shot I really wanted right here, but I'm gonna have to take this. I'm going to take this. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. All right, let's see what he does on this one. But I'm still in brain range, though. That might not be good enough. Sure, I'm playing them good shit today, you boy. What's up with your best friend? Hey, we're funny, man. Heading towards that. That's how you see it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's you, Rick. Nigga, just say so, cuz. Nigga, hey, then, hold on. Let me rephrase that then, cuz. Let me, let me rephrase that, cuz. We gonna play that fire tonight. Hey, look, I wouldn't even never play that bullshit right there. Man, that nigga playing that fire tonight, though. I don't play Aubrey. Fuck, man. Hot oh, boy. What the fuck? I need to read. Calibrate uh, everything going to the right. Everything. Everything I swing at going to the right. You might need to calibrate, cuz. <laughs> I mean, you know. That's that's the advice that you would give me. Right, sir? Right, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Calibrate.
Nice, 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 nice. Look at that boy. That's a pretty pink Let's ball, too. Damn, My shit always second. fucking rough, though. It had been reek this pink ball. <laughs> Look at my shit sitting right there. And then where my birdie is, bitch? I mean, well, well, this ain't for the birdie, though. This is gonna be for, oh, this is gonna be for the birdie. It's a part three, I'm fucked up. Made it. You bitch! Oh, oh my God! What happened? See what happens. This she get nigga got rubbed. Since, you did, did that, since you did that, Rick. Since you did that, Rick. Since you did that, Rick, you just gave me an idea, bro. Oh yeah, right in there, bitch. Right in there, too. Right in there. One. Hey, Since man, you just did, did that, came man close. Oh, whoever the fuck that just hit. Since you just did that, let me go ahead and do this. Oh no! Damn! Just miss you though. Take this. It's ten under par. I like that motherfucking hoodie though. Okay. I like that. I ain't not hooked that up yet. <laughs> Fuck everybody. I saw you even like the pink ass ball you got too. Wow. Enough money. This nigga you sure ain't getting no props tonight, ain't he, boy? You know what, money? I want that. I just done something. They don't hear me. They don't hear me, Roy. I don't fuck with my shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, that was a nice shot. I'm scared. I miss my shit. Bang, bang. I ain't I seen that color nowhere. Uh, when I cleared up, I got that in the ball. Don't you be my man. I'm back around with Alex. I'm giving me a smile trying to talk to Alex. I'm going to smoke him to this time. Yeah, I already had that hoodie, though. I just never did wear that shit, though. Man, I gotta make this shit. Everybody make this bitch. Except for who? He's got three feet Except for me? What? What? Hello. I'm going to go. Yeah, we in here. Yeah, we're in the middle of the game. And you are currently. Shit, I done been up, down, up, down. It ain't matter no more. I'm just gonna play this game, bro. The best of my best of my ability. You know what I mean? Tonight, anyway. You got that. Damn, man. I did it without one. Let's launch this in the atmosphere, preferably hitting the fairway. Fire.
Good job. And let's see how he does on this hole. <laughs> I didn't tell. I need to be the green at least, though. Hey, man, yeah. Where's she at? Kanye Hill, boy. And let's see how this tee shot fares for him. Hey, yeah, even he, he fuck he fuck Jay up. Kanye more he better than Jay to me. But they kind of they kind of help make each other too though. I, I say that. I say each other. These things went way over there. Rocket. Let's see what his second shot. My shot, like. and I just can't make it. Oh my God! This is another fucked up situation for me to be in. Do I, do I, do I go all the way over there? I do. Oh, then you don't want them? Damn it, am I going to go all the way over there? Am I going to fuck it, hit the tank? Don't hit the tank, please don't hit the tank. On and on. Good luck on your second shot here on the 14th. Tell I give it to bring him home. Because I don't want the tower tank. My young. I ain't even. Well done. That's another green in regulation. What's your butt? Here we go. This is his second shot. Damn, where the fuck am I at? Oh, then he got the nigga Slim Shady in that bitch too? And fuck Eminem. Nah, you can't you can't do that, Sean. You can't do that. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. That nigga don't like him, man. Hey. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> wow, don't do it. Stop, cuz. Nah, nah, nah man. Shady got, don't, Shady got don't his own flavor, man. That, don't do that, That deserves don't to be that. in this shit, bro. You, you just he got, said he true, deserves nigga. to be in this shit, bro. What? <laughs> they do. Damn. He hard hitting. He hard hitting. Damn. He's not he's missing the garbage. He's in there. Yeah, Let's see man. if he can get out of there. Yeah, you know, man. Oh, my shit, let me go. Roy Five Nine. Why the fuck am I? Okay. Roy Five Nine. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, okay, I get it now. One, three, three, one. So that's like 10 minutes a hole. 
if you go from the 12th to the 14th, it's like 10 minutes old. I can't say we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, man. See, this is what y'all take off from here right here, bro. This is what y'all take off from it right here. Bitch. <coughs> this is his third shot. This is my third hit. Okay. Damn it. Okay, I'm the last, I'm the last one to hit. Really? This is my third hit. Damn, y'all didn't hit y'all third yet, though. So this is crazy. Only 50 yards, though. I need to do this right now. Oh, shit. I, I hear you, Rick. Yeah. Oh, no. And so I, I be on the block. No, I'm talking oh, now. Bitch. Somebody about to make this, bro. Somebody about to make this. Somebody about to make this shit. Somebody about to make this shot, though. Yeah. Can't sleep. You're living in hell. Yeah. 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 Go to jail tonight. That's why I bounced this goddamn way. After this, I gotta go radio silence. I gotta make phone calls. What? You nigga making phone calls? Damn. You usually be receiving phone calls. This nigga make a phone call. You hear that, Sean? What's gonna happen? This next putt's for his eagle. Oh, oh hell. Okay, okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you, though. And, and who was that? Go ahead and name him, Sean. I gotta talk to him. I forgot her name. You feel it? E Y S. You feel it? E A O Y. I don't know how to say it. Eli, nigga, shit. Solid putt. <laughs> and he's got a 12. That's what it is. That is. That's I told somebody to make that shit. I told somebody to make it. That's what it is, Eli. E-L-Y? Eli. Yeah, Eli. All uh, my life, anyway. You want to call her Ellie? How, hold up. Just want to say you Ellie. Don't you just place an eye for a Y anytime, you know that, right? Say Ellie. <laughs> Ely. Say Ely then. Ely. Ely, Ely, that sounds better, bro. Eli? Nigga, Eli all my life. Eli, what is Eli, bro? <coughs> I know a nigga named Eli. Be, yeah. name just Ellie? like that. It could be Ely or Ellie. Nah, it's Eli. Eli, Eli. Is this the guy that is Eli? So good. That was a fantastic shot. And this one he's going to take a stab at for birdie. If he's looking for me, I'm going to. About time. God damn. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And 12 under is your current score. Well, let's see about running. Nobody want that bitch. Let's see what happens here on the 15th.
Nicely done driving that green. You got an eagle putt coming up. All right, let's see how he does. Hey, everyone. Sorry, gorilla, 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 look out. It's Wayne Adams fight back, volume 13. I believe we're in Texas. Yeah, this is why I lose the game right here. Y'all can hear it further than me last night. That, that shit makes me feel good. Ready to roll. Let's see how it goes on this one. big time right here. The truth, hey, let the truth be known, we. Yeah, you just glad my shit don't go over there. That's all, bro. Just glad my shit don't go over there. But it's, I'm, I'm catching up, though. I'm ca hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's getting better. It's getting better, though. Like I say, by this time next year, nigga, I'll be right. By this time next year, every, all them hits y'all doing, all the first hit, I'll be doing the same hits. It'd be a different game, man. Well, either way, bro, I'm going to still have my... Well, <coughs> got one. <laughs> Hey, look, you have to wear the matter. We're going to be starting off from the same position, though. We're going to be evenly matched. Right now, we're not evenly matched. I'm less capable. Slowly, I'm just not capable right now of keeping up because of my club in the bar. Bro, it is my not club. Not quite you sure. See, where see, it's see how you made it to the green, bro? Let's see how far I can hit this shit. I don't give a damn who it was. I can't do that. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Just about ready to tee I'll pull off. back and put all brakes on my shit. Nigga, how? Let's see how far I can go, bro. Bro, let's see how far I can go, Rico. All I'm saying, let's see how far I can go, Rico. That's all I'm saying, right? Let's see how far I can go. Well, I already know you, man. Now, I'm driver. I'm full driver, stretched out too far as I can go, bro. Bam. Okay. I hit a one oh fucking four. You see where the fuck I'm at, cuz? Yeah, I'm setting up a I'm a, shot I'm, here. Bro, y'all went to the nigga, nigga. I'm just, I'm just a good player. But if I could have made you the green, I would have made you the green on the first hit, not the second shit, nigga. So you, so you tell me all the time you're gonna hit three squares. It's fucking good player. That's all I'm saying, Rico. Boy, man. That's all I'm saying, Rick. It's because because I'm <laughs> bro. No, no, Rico. I never could keep up with y'all, bro. Y'all was going every shot. Y'all went way past me. Right. This little test from the green side, rough. Every shot. <laughs> you said what? last thirty games. Yeah. I'm trying yeah, to catch up a little bit though. But it's just that exceptional play that's allowing me to keep up with y'all tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, y'all nigga here. Go ahead, get it done. I can't think about oh, it because, uh, who was that? Scraps? Careful with this one. This is from way out. Looking very nice. Ugh, rolled right by. See, now, under normal circumstances, I would have said, missed. when I watched you make it, Eagle. I couldn't afford to do that this time. He's got a long putt to contend with here. What will happen? Mm -mm -mm. 
that's fucked up. I, I knew the game was going kind of like in this way, man, with Jack coming back in the second half. But the, but the other two players, man, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I got to make this half shot first. Man, I don't think just giving me a W. Hey, Jack, man, don't even play me, man. I don't play me like that, Jack. I know we better than that. I know we better than that. And Ooh, I'm going to run past that bitch a little eagle. bit. Can I make it in there? That's the problem. Let me go ahead and cut my mic down a little bit. My head shut down a little bit. You can hear me, but I can't hear you. What I got He's going to want to make this 10-foot putt. I need my shot down. Turn my shit back up. Who that's white boy that day? Who they getting the information right now? You know, you say that, Rick? I'm trying to figure who that's swiping over there. And that putt will drop. This nigga listen to the whole story, yeah, too. Five foot putt for him. What's this? What's that? Is that how you have Or is that like more than that? Damn, this is a bitch right here. I don't want to be short on you. Damn. Oh, my God. And that'll drop for birdie. All right, let's give this one a tap in and move to the next. And 13 under par is your current score. It's a damn show. This course is better than I thought it was, even though I don't like this motherfucker. Oh my god, y'all like the way y'all hit me now. This is bullshit, bro. Bullshit. That's why I always lose that right motherfucking head. That five part cup is over for me. What's up with Kales, man? I need somebody to fuck up. No, I need somebody to okay. fuck up. Full sand, let's go. For sure, because y'all can out hit me. Full blast. Five hundred yard. Five hundred yard. No no water, no water, no water, no water. Ooh, water. Oh, in to the water. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. He said no water, no water, no water. He know that's gonna stupid. take care of you right there. He know that's gonna take care of you right there, Rick. On the 16th, you already know that. Let's see what he does. By <laughs> doing the water too, nigga. Oh, only got one way to go, and that's straight ahead, baby. Oh, go for it, nigga. Go with the little engine that could. Mm -hmm. Good. Look at that. Look at that. That's it. That's all we got. CMB. CMB. We all we got. Low road. Okay. What the fuck is 
Alright, let's see how he does no, here I'm on this hole. No, I'm hitting it already. I'm hitting it right there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Alright, well, I'm hitting you, man. Oh, you know too, don't you? Please don't go in that water, though. That's the thing. That's the thing, that water. Water is a problem. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't want no water. Oh, God. I don't want no water. No water, please. Oh, yeah. No water. There we go. Setting up here in the deep stuff. Okay, nicely out of the rough there. Now, let us set our sights on the green. All right, he's getting ready to fire away with his second shot. Right. Oh, just swiping your ass off, huh? Oh, yeah. I guess I'm the first thing that's hitting this shit and I missed some shit, though. No. Alright, I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. Still, this is game right here. Ooh, this is game right here. Damn. Boy. This is scary. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. This mm. is very scary. Oh, this is tight. Damn. Damn, girl, there's a whole bunch of head you got down there. Okay, we found your friend here in the deep <laughs> rough. Let's see how we do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on the team, bro. Nigga, you feel me? Oh, shit. Damn, bro, I'm glad we got started early, take my shower, get my ass beer. Oh, nigga, it ain't over yet, it ain't over yet, nigga, sure, it ain't over yet, nigga, it's only the first game. Right, here's his second shot. Fuck you, man. Let me fuck with you, Shane. I just fuck with you, Shane. Let me fuck with you. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I don't know about you. <laughs> Nah, I ain't playing no more, nigga, man. Take my dumb ass to bed so I can get, get up early in the morning. Oh, shit. This motherfucker warm now, though, boy. I'll tell you that. Oh, so sure I'm going out with you to the booty hole. And he will set up here around uh, 140 to the pin. Just the one right here. The damn leader. About to kill it.
It went wide like a motherfucker. Oh, I thought that was water for a minute right there. Boy. About 125 yards that out. went mad like a motherfucker. <laughs> well, that'll play. Pin high for us. Let's see how this shapes up. This is his third shot. Here's your friend. He's setting up in the green side sand. Motherfucking splash. Damn. All right, here we go. This is his fourth shot. Oh, well. And that chip will drop very nicely done from that lie. Wouldn't that be nice to save par on this one? Just won't let me shine, will you? <laughs> Boy, God damn. This is a good close game, though, bro. I, I can say that much. Ain't no fucking running away game. getting there. Nice pot in there for pot. <laughs> He's got a four-footer to deal with here. That's it. That's it. That is it. <laughs> Give me that. All right. And that putt will drop nice for birdie. Nice close game. Nice close game. You need to get blown out. And after that hole, you sit at 13 under par. Still got a chance if it's the part three. Oh, there we go. Shit. Two men on the job, baby. Taking this one with the nine iron. Is he gonna make too it? much he to make the it? right. No, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. Okay, that's good. He didn't make it. Well, I ain't gonna say that's good. Well, I ain't, I ain't make it though. All right, interested to see what he has good in store for us here. Him. Yeah. Need somebody to fuck up right here. And they've chosen the pitching wedge. 
Heading for the green. He might make that, bro. He might make that, bro. Fantastic approach by your friend there. He had that so one. So I need to go ahead and make this. I need to go ahead and make He's this. He's ready to let, let her rip. Let's this, see how this bro. hole goes. And say Martin, no. Give me this. Give me this. Let's go ahead and make this now. Let's go ahead and make Shots this. coming in nicely. Let's go ahead and make this. Thank you. Oh, no. Damn. Okay, let's see what you do here. Just think of him for Brown Lake, you know. 15. 15. Heading for the green. And here's our second shot on the 17th. Oh, man. Ooh, okay. Good luck here. This is for par. Looking good. All right, in the cup for the par. And a five foot putt for him. And a decent putt. He's got a three footer here. And that one goes in for the bird. Thirteen under at the moment. I thought that was the All right, well, boy, yeah, Another fucking five. Damn. All right, well, my, 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 Looks like this one will be safe in the fairway. Here we go. Let's see what this guy does. Oh, 
All right, he's good to go on this one. Let's see how he does. You don't want to get up. You still, you still on the phone. <clears throat> You're down here. Hey, roll, roll up then. I ain't doing nothing. What hand can you roll up with? Is that all you got? This, I'm talking about. You gonna roll it? Oh, that's not pretty good. Looks like this one's in the fairway. Next level shot. All right, bombs away. Let's see what happens here. Let's go. Would you look at the distance on this? We should make the shit out of it. Okay, he's getting ready to fire away. Yeah, man. We try to get to bed. hit that far, bro. I can't do shit. Let me see something. Well, okay. Well, okay. Anything be good right there. And this will be a second shot. Nah, that was me. All right, good luck with your second shot here on the 18th hole. Yeah, that'll work. And here we go with his second shot.
Okay, this is his third. Okay, here we go. What? What? This is some bullshit, yo. This is some bullshit, cuz, you hear me? Oh, no. All I can do is a fire behind. I don't know what's down this bitch. Water! Damn it. Okay, dog. Okay, dog. Just do it like this. Do it like this, dog. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We ain't going that way. We're going to do it just like this. Do it like that, dog. Hmm? There you go. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, this is his third shot. Club, I ain't had that club, dog. I had to stop where I was at. So you don't have a hybrid in your club? Uh, I do, but it wouldn't let me use it. It wouldn't let me use it. Okay, let's see what happens. This is his third. Trans, wow. That ain't what the fuck I did, bruh. See you later to that ball. Nigga, I swear to God, nigga. I swear to God I want to turn this PlayStation off right now. Y'all just don't know how close I am to doing that. Okay, here's our third shot. Nigga, I'm oh, nigga. Rico's got three wood too. Think we're in the rough on this one. Oh no! Good shot, nigga. Shit. And he's got about let's say one forty. This the thing right from here. here. It's the thing right here. Can I make this? Can I make this? That's all I want to know. Six. Okay. Slide each other. Slide each other. Hmm. Can I make this? Slide me, slide me with the... Coming in for a landing here on the green. There I go. Oh, no. I almost did it. I almost did it. Damn it, bro. I was just a little bit too shy. Yeah. Just making the ball in springs over here, any boy? They got the water with the heat on it, with the steam on it.
I feel the stroke. Oh yeah, it's like a par. Bullshit. Jack for the fucking burger. Oh yeah. What's it say? And from the green side rough. Just the three kills for the goddamn. For what? For the bird. This one's for Birdie. Okay. See, I got the 17. And after that, he's all done. Good James Jack. Good game Jack. I said good 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 James Jack. Good James Jack. Got and a five <laughs> foot putt for him. Okay. You're gonna have to follow through with my boy told me, man. Yeah, I need Rico's boy. I need Wow. Rico's boy. Wow. You always tell me don't say that, bro. Be quiet, right? Shut up, right? Don't say that, right? That nigga went straight to the goddamn motherfucking uh, booty hole. <laughs> Don't say nothing, Rob. Be quiet, right. Rob. Yeah, man. We can just say any goddamn thing, bro. Come on, Rob. Right. Stop doing that shit, man. And ending his round with a bogey. Hmm. Sinking this next putt will well, be for his part. At least I've been, my last three games, I've been tied for second place. That's a good thing for me, bro. Trust me. When I say that's a good thing. Oh, no. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Right there, baby. Right there. Can you do that? Nah, you still ain't see it right, but anyway. <laughs> Get up there. Right there. And he'll end his round with a par here today. And wouldn't it be nice to save par here? Yeah, man. And you finish your round with a par. That's A-OK, -okay, my friend. And at the end of this one, 13 under par for you. And that's going to do it for us here today. Thank you so much Thank for playing. And we'll see you next time. Keep on climbing that ladder, though. I might have once, uh, man, what's the motherfucker? Plus three on the hybrid. Is that, is that good for anything, bro? A plus three on the hybrid? I'm just going to save you up so I, get, so I get with Jack on this shit. That's what I'm going to do. It don't, it's only goddamn, ain't even 10 yet. 9.30, boy. 9.29. That's good. That's I good fucked my way to the top, baby. Bro, that was a good-ass game, bro, for me anyway. I appreciate that game, man. Yeah, good game, man. I'm out. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, good game. What's up, man? Go. Uh, <laughs> I'm a sore loser. Don't be a sore loser, sir. I thought you was... Maybe because you need to go somewhere, All right? You suck losing. What's up, Rick? You didn't get a silence? There you go. There you go, Rick. Let me see what you let me, let me see, let me see what kind of game you got to fuck with now. Oh, he told you. Boo boo. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and change. I'm out too. I'm like, saying. All right, Jack. Me and Rico, me and Rico. Right. You, gone, you, go, you off, Rico? Or are you going to change your shit? Okay, I'm gonna change my I'm gonna change my shit real quick and go ahead. That's the only shit right there. That's the other ass one. Niggas been wearing that too much. Ah, uh, that kinda smooth right there. Player shit right there. Player shit. Player shit right there.
Rico, go ahead on your business, man. I'm ready to get off, bro. All right, so it's out.
Hi there. Welcome. First of all, welcome to the game. My name is John. Pleased to be out for a round of PGA Tour 2K23 with you. Par 4 is on the slate for this first hole today. Shall we crack into it? Second shot here on the first.
Okay, third shot. Okay, 11 feet to deal with. And the putt appears to be online. And we're starting things off at even par after the first. All right, put this one out in the fairway. That swing was a little bit off. And just in the light rough at the moment. Okay, careful on this one. We're in the green side rough. Here we go. Let's let's save par on this one. Oh. All right, give this a little tap and we can move on. All right, let's take a look at the scorecard after that one. And you're sitting at one over for the round. And teeing her up here on the third. Oh, come on, sit down for us. Yep, I miscalculated. It happens. You uh, ended up on the green. This next putt is for your birdie. Oh my. Here's a six foot putt. And that'll do nicely. Okay, sitting at one over par. Okay, lengthy par four ahead of us here. Oh, no good. And as this ball is below your feet, you might want to go a little bit more leftward than you would normally. Looks like we're heading to the rough. And this is your third shot. All right, we're setting up in the rough, but it seems to be sitting up pretty good in this rough for you. Ouch, swallowed up into the abyss. Okay, this is your sixth shot on this one. Oh, no good. And currently sitting at six over. And let's let this fly here on the fifth. Oh, man. Setting up here now for our third shot. I think we're in the rough. And that approach was a bit wayward. Setting up here for your fourth. All right, let's drop this one in, snag that double bogey and move on. Right by. Okay, tap this one in and let's move on. And sitting at nine over for the day. Holt number six. That shot got a little bushy. Let's get out of this. This is uh, a little spinachy for my liking. Yeah, you didn't hit that clean. 
All right, back in the fairway. Now let's just drop a dart onto that green. And this is your fourth shot. Ooh, look at here. Nice chip. And this one for bogey. Oh. Okay, we're moving. We're moving to the next. Let's see if you can take advantage of this nice par five hole. That's not gonna work, is it? Second shot here on the seventh. And I'm not liking this one, not liking it at all. Here's your fourth shot. Whoops, there goes the... Yeah, that's the water. Okay, let's get on out of this uh, second cut and get on our way. Well, you didn't hit that one perfectly. That's going to miss the green, unfortunate. Here's a seven foot putt. Ah, oh, just right by the hole. And just pop this one in for the quad bogey and just get the heck out of here. All right, let's have a nice tee shot and land it nicely in that fairway. Well, I'm sure that's not what you intended. Okay, second shot here on the eighth hole. This approach is heading left. Okay, careful on this one. We're in the rough. Okay, and this one to save the hole. Yikes, that went right by. Three feet to go. Okay, let's take a look at this next hole now. We got a big par five ahead of us here. Hopefully this sticks to the uh, fairway. Setting up here on the first cut. We'll take those all day. And this is our third shot. And sink this next putt and you'll grab that birdie. Going towards that hole. Great way to bounce back. Nice birdie on this one after that bogey on the last. See what you can do here on the 10th hole. Well, there's some hook onto this one. Okay, this is about 155 yards to the pin. Well, it's unlucky, missed the green on that approach. Okay, here's your fourth. 13 feet left to the hole.
I'll need a little more pace on that one. Loading up for a par five here. That isn't uh, too good, is it? Okay, second shot on the 11th. Way to go. Back in the fairway, you've done well. Okay, we're setting up about 100 yards out. Going a bit left of the pin. Sitting in the green side rough. Let's go. And this one to save par. Oh, that was almost in setting up here with a four foot putt. And that putt will drop and that's for bogey. And this one is a par three. Well, you're not going to hit every green today. That's all right. Putting this one from downtown. This is a, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Oh, this one could drop. Oh man, that was a fun putt to watch from way, 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 way out there. Great work. Here comes the 13th hole. You managed to get a good swing on that. Here we go. This one for birdie. So far, so good. Oh, that shot was a beauty. Teeing off on this one, uh, par three ahead of us. Beautiful swing. That should do nicely. All right, let's do this 18 feet to go. Get there. Let's keep her going. That's two birdies in a row. Let's have a third. And teeing this one up on the 15th hole. Nicely done. And this is around the 245 yard mark. Putting for Eagle here on this one. Woo, good stuff. And if you can this, that'll be for Eagle. Oh, that was, it was a great putt up until just the very end. Good stuff out there, though.
Well, have a good hole. We've got a par four for this one. And just in the first cut on this one. Setting up for our third shot. And this one's your fourth shot. Ah, no good. Setting up here for the bogey. And nice putt. Let's move on. Looks like a par four for this one. Uh, unlucky. All right, good luck. Second shot here on the 17th. This one's your third. This is potentially to save par. Nicely done. Time for our second shot here on number 18. Safe approach, nice. And this one is from 23 feet. Looking super. Ooh, nice attempt, just wouldn't go. And tapping that in to finish our round. Nice. And that will be 16 over for you at the end of this one. Well, that's it for me. This is where we go our separate ways. Thank you for the round.
2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Certainly excited to seeing this one. Strap yourselves in. That one was fired out of a cannon. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Straight back up into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, that's frustrating. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. He's currently tied for fifth. The first of our birdie opportunities comes second, par five. Driver not necessarily required here because you have to shape your tee shot from right to left. And if you're a right-handed golfer, that's not the easiest thing to do. So lefties have a better opportunity, I think, of finding this fairway than most with driver. From there, a second shot over a long bunker to a green that's very narrow, dotted by pot bunkers. Truly is one of the coolest par fives on this layout. Well played, mate. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Big chance here. And that's a way to fight back from a tough break. Well hold. In the bunker with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. And now heading over to Harold Varna III. He's currently in fifth place. Let's take a look at HV3. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He's currently just in second place. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Let's take a look at the par three third. Straight away mid iron to short iron shot. Such a cool little par three. Love this green. There's a low section in the front and a high section in the back. And anytime they put the pin all the way in the back section of the screen, well, I tell you what, good luck on you. If you miss this green long and or left, that bunker sits some five feet below the surface of the green. Let's return to live play now. Three feet to go here to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. That's inside the range. And this player is moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Well, the fourth is another great example that it doesn't need to be a long par four to be a testing one. This fourth can be menacing, can't it? Just a small little twisty par four. Just going to take out a fairway wood, find the fairway. And from there, you're going to have a small second shot, probably a wedge. Three distinct sections to this green, the front, the right, and the back left. And all of them have their difficulties when hitting your approach shot into them. However, in my mind's eye, if you find the fairway, you should have a decent look for birdie. Putting for birdie here. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. 
and that will take him to four under. All right, Rich, the par four fifth. A strong hole this one, isn't it? Huge mounding down the left-hand side that you want to avoid at all costs. The bunker down the right-hand side, to be fair, is not that bad. But a little further right of that, though, that's the water. You want no part of it. Second shot is downhill to a green. To be fair, that's mostly flat. Runs from back left to front right, but one of the more benign greens on this layout. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Yep, that shot safely on the green. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. Oh, that's a nice line. Seems to be some sort of a mission he's on today. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Leading by a couple after that hole. The tee shot at the par 4 6 has changed a lot now that that tree's been taken out of the way, Rich. But uh, what do you think of this short par 4? Par 4, 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid. Just for placement in the fairway, this green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Don't get caught out by one. Okay, time to return to the action. Nicely done. Right on four feet. Should make this one. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And that will take him to six under. As we go from a wonderful little par four, we go to a challenging longer par four, the seven. Par four, 451 yards, all sorts of danger down the left-hand side. Hit your tee shot out to the right. Second shot, find the green, two putt, and sprint to the tee on the eighth. All right, we're going with an extra club here. And he's safely on the green. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Now, long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? So close. And that should secure the par on this one. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Still in the lead now after that hole. The eighth hole, a long par three stretching 240 yards at its maximum. It's no sleeper, that's for sure. 
I don't find anything sleepy about this hole. The front of the screen is so narrow. There's no place to land it, especially when they put the flag stick there. This hole will grab your attention as it should because it's a long iron to a sliver of an opening. Even when they put the pin on the right-hand side, you want no part of it. The center of the green all day long here. Good choice. Go with the three iron. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. What's in front of them, Henny? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Get in. Ouch, that hurts. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. The final hole on the opening nine at TPC Sawgrass's stadium course, Rich, is a clever three-shotter. Par five, 583 yards from the back. Most players will play this as a three-shotter. Just find the fairway out to the left. Second shot out to the right. Sets up a very simple third shot to a very narrow green. Miss it right or left. Good luck getting it up and down. And this player's really going after it here, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, just missed. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's happy, just came off a birdie. So after that effort... This is the current standings on the course. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the players perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. And, Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one's headed right, Rich. Oh, dear. Can he get out of here? They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Chance here, this one's for par. If it's up, it could be in. And in it goes for the par. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. There's some birdie holes out on this course, and the 11th is certainly one of those, but uh, there are some troublesome spots if you get out of play. There definitely is trouble, but the thing I love about this hole the most, Luke, is that there's so many different ways to play it. Most players will take driver off the tee, but from there, now it's anybody's ball game. You don't have to go for the green on the second shot. You can lay it up over the left. You can lay it up over to the right. You can lay it up long left. There's so many different ways of attacking this hole. Each individual is going to do it differently. I love the second shot on this hole. And a chance to reach nine under for the championship with this putt. Oh, terrific. What an effort. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Well, the tee shot is all that matters on the short par four 12th. Most players can reach the green. It's just the decision whether the player goes for it or not. 
they can, but they better be aware that there's a lot of danger up there. Water left obviously is no good, but even bailing out to the right in those dunes, in the mounds, the little pot bunkers on top of those mounds, well, forget about it. That's not a good space either, especially since the green does run pretty hard from right to left. If you want to take this hole on with driver and expecting to make three, well, you need to realize that a five and a six could be easily made as well. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, 15 feet out. He's been staring this one down. This is what they have left for birdie here. This one's looking good. And now let's head over to Harold Varna III. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Let's take a look at the current standings. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Well, as you start to head for home here at TPC Sawgrass, you're blessed with this wonderful par 313. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards from the back. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one, but watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult to two putt from there. Whew. Wow, from the tee no less. That's great stuff. Putting for birdie. Tracking. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. I like it. Two in a row. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Plenty of trouble around this golf course. The 14th, the par four, represents a number of that. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound, but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. Opting for the 9-iron. This one is right down the pipe. And a good chance this one, right on six feet. And that's eight birdies today. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. The par 4 15th again requires another strong tee shot because there's some trees in the way, Rich. Players do hit through a shoot off this tee shot, which makes it a little bit simpler, I believe, for the players. Bunker down the right-hand side is no good because you'll have trees blocking you out with your second shot. If you miss it left into the pine straw, now you've got some trees blocking you out there, so finding the fairway is imperative. This green is no fun. You find the center of the green, and you might be able to putt every single day, but in all reality, you have to find the correct section in order to give yourself the best look at making a putt. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. Yeah, wind took that one offline in a hurry. A chance to save the par if he can make this one. And down it goes. Now 12 under par with just a handful to play. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. As we head to the 16th tee, the famous par five reached the start of the gauntlet. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. And he how's that ball lying? Oh, some smiles here. A bit of luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Distance control not easy when you're coming out of the rough.
Oh, that's a sensational putt to make. And what about the glimpse they just gave their rival? Come and catch me now. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. Let's catch up with Harold Varner. And back to the course with the live action. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. The par 3 17th, one of the most famous holes in all of golf. The Island Green, one of Pete Dye's, but really Alice Dye's masterpiece. Par 3 17th, 137 yards, Island Green. I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. That was a gallant attempt. A par putt on the table. Ooh, nice line. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? This player must be in heaven. Their lead is now 11. When you feel like you've survived the 17th, you stand on the 18th tee and you think to yourself, where do I hit this? It's just one of the most difficult, visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right-hand side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there, hit it out to the right-hand side of the green somehow, also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right. Listen, you'd be happy to make five here, that's for sure. Fours are magnificent. Threes are unicorns. They really don't happen that much. It is such a difficult, demanding finishing hole. Probably one of the toughest in championship golf. This one could take a little bounce to the left. This putt for him to win the event. That line was looking good, wasn't it? Don't sweat that last opportunity. This is another one to knock it in and win the tournament. And that'll do it, Rich. Players' champion. That's one of the elite wins in their career. Winning the Players' Championship, Luke, is easily as good as winning any major because the field quality is so amazing. This is going to speak volumes for this player and the career going forward. This is a heck of a win. I can't wait to see what they produce next. Well, Henny, when they came into this rivalry, we weren't sure if they were going to be good enough to win the battle. They not only won that, they won the war. Yes, Luke, no one could catch this player, let alone their rival. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm so looking forward to following these two players in this group. They've been going back and forth a bit on social media leading up to the event and seem to really want to prove something out on the course today. Well, it will be interesting to keep an eye on this one right throughout this event. Going with the three iron. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Yep, they Houdini'd that. That's brilliant. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Has to putt this one downhill. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Talk about hitting the ground running, Luke. Watch out, this could be an exciting day. Water is a feature here at the Copperhead course of Innersbrook Resort. Rich, and it comes into play at the second. Downhill tee shot. You want to keep your tee shot out to the right as best you can to take out the trees that hug the left-hand side. Green sits well above the player's second shot. They won't see how close they hit it from the fairway. Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. He's going to need an incredible stroke of luck to get this out with any momentum going forward to get it on the green. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Nice out the rough here. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Got a chance. Oh, what a super shot. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The Copperhead course at Innisbrook can really bite you, especially if you're slightly wayward, and there's one of those holes right here at the third, Rich. Decisions to be made. The fairway narrows up. Should you take driver out? Also the water on the right. So players more than likely laying back with some kind of fairway wood. Oh, it's a little wayward. Bouncing through the branches. That ball looked a little thirsty. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Going with the seven. Oh, that one's bouncing around in the branches. Far from ideal. And here we are with their four. Well, that's a handy shot. Just a four footer remaining. That's a bogey, but not a bad putt. This player is putting for fun. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. The fourth hole, the first of the par threes on the property, and you've got to be dialed in on your number. This is a challenging par three, no doubt about it, Luke. This green pitches from right to left and from front to back, making it almost impossible to get it super close unless you have a perfect number into this par three. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Well, usually Tony Finau is the tall order. 
But after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is the new tall order. What an approach. This putt for the lead. Good looking putt. Yeah, that's some positive momentum now. Right to the top of the leaderboard they go. Stretching out over 600 yards means the par five fifth is no snack. It is. Luke, I rarely say that par fives on the PGA Tour are challenging, but this is definitely one of them. It's an uphill tee shot and a second shot that is downhill moving from right to left that's completely blind for these players. There is a tree about 100 yards out, which is going to be something they aim at when they lay up. Third shot, though, is very basic, down the hill to a fairly flat grain surrounded by some bunkers. More than likely, most players are going to have to lay it up on this par five. Uh, just hoping for an outcome now. That's nicely done. Setting up miles from the hole. Oh, so close. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The sixth hole at Innersbrook's Copperhead course, Rich. It's a challenging one, isn't it? If you find the fairway off the tee here, you are an amazing human being. The fairway tilts from right to left very significantly. Holding the fairway is almost impossible. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from about 105 yards. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. This one needs to kick left. This putt coming up is for birdie. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Standing on the seventh tee, players get to breathe a sigh of relief having the sixth behind them. You know, Luke, this is sneaky hard to be fair. You don't need driver, and so you might get lulled to sleep a little bit by taking three-word out just for position. Any misses to the right or the left, and you'll be blocked out by some pretty gnarly trees. The green tilts from right to left ever so slightly, and watch out for those deep bunkers fronting this green. They'll grab your golf ball in a hurry. Let's get back to it, shall we? That's just inside the range. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? He's looking at around 14 foot, I'd say. This is their look at birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. And well hold. Let's move on. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will move him to six under par. Ball striking continues to be the order of the day as the players arrive on the ninth tee, a par four. Yes, just thread those bunkers off the tee shot somehow with the driver. Second shot is going to be straight back up the hill. And once again, with the pin position over on the right-hand side, players will be unable to see where their golf ball pitches. This is a quality par four. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Oh, 
Well, that's well played and a chance for Birdie here at the ninth. Just six feet between he and the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will take him to seven under. The back nine at Innersbrook's Copperhead course begins with a par four. Straight down the hill these tee shots go. That bunker down the left-hand side should see a fair bit of action. If you leave it out to the right-hand side, there's some trees that are overhanging and will block out your second shot. This green tilts pretty good from back to front. Playing from around 110 yards out. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Opting for the 9-iron. Not bad. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's the right place. This should drop. Oh, he's on fire today. Building upon his lead, hole after hole. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Very few parts of the golf course make you feel comfortable, but chance of birdie at 11. Finally, we have a birdie hole. Just avoid that bunker down the left-hand side. Find the right-hand side of the fairway. And you can go ahead and chase one up there. Even if you can't get it on the green in two, that front bunker is not a bad leave. But beware, there are some trees over on the right-hand side that could block you out. Opting for the three iron here. That's uh, just a tad off line, that one. Headed towards the left. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? Very good look at Birdie here. I like the look of this. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Now, birdie's also in your heart standing on the 12th tee. A short par four, Rich. Decisions to be made? Just a long iron or a hybrid for this tee shot here. Luke, second shot. We're coming in with some kind of short iron to a green that's protected by a deep bunker in the front. That is absolutely spot on. Well, that's not ideal. Finding the trees. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. better. Oh, how about that one? Leading by six strokes after that one. Lucky 13 for some. This par three plays 200 yards. Luke, this tee shot is about as hard as eighth grade algebra. It is absolutely mind bending. It doesn't look like much, but that green absolutely rip. I think the green is made out of Gore-Tex. It repels golf balls. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. And back to the play, shall we? Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Was on a good line. Putting for a par now. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. He sits in first position. 
The second of the back nine, par fives, Rich 14. There's plenty to it. Only the biggest hitters in the game can reach this one in two, so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal. That way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup. The third shot will be going downhill to a green that tilts from back to front, guarded by a deep bunker over on the left-hand side. You find the fairway with your second shot, you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close. Uh, great shot. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Good choice. Go with the three iron. Yeah, good aggressive play and almost rewarded by finding the green. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Eight feet to the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Hey, that's a chance. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Still in the lead now after that hole. The long par three continues to be a feature here at the Copperhead course, and 15's no different. It is. Thankfully, though, this is the flattest green or one of the flattest greens on the golf course here. It's basically just a long iron down the hill to this flat green, but don't miss it left. That is no good. This one might need to get down a little. Yeah, quality shot, that. Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. It's on a great line. And that's back-to-back -back birdies as we head down the stretch. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. OK, let's get back to the action. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, this looks pure. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. leading by nine strokes after that one. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? The final hole of the snake pit, an uphill par three. Again, 210 plus yards. The final challenging par three on this golf course. Good news is, though, is the green funnels in from both the right and left edges. Most shots are going to end up right in the center of this green. Going with the three iron. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. 
Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 29 feet from the cup. Just didn't drop. An opportunity to make their par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. The closing hole of Innersbrook's Copperhead course is also the final hole of the snake pit. And this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back, and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill. But if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. And as that putt drops to the bottom, Rich, they are now the Valspar champion. What a performance. Yeah, what a performance. What a win. I mean, just this player was just amazing all week long. And as we recap all our rivalry results, it's a big thank you to our gal on the ground, Henny Koyak, for bringing us all the action from this group today. Luke, thank you so much. I'm not sure anyone enjoyed watching these incredible rivalries out on the course more than me. A pleasure, as always, to tread the fairways. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>